Watch on BBC iPlayer. Hello, good afternoon. This is BBC News with me, Ben Brown. These are our latest headlines at two o'clock. Britain's first ever red extreme heat warning is in effect for most of England as the country gets ready for what could become the hottest day on record, with London becoming one of the hottest places in the world. The unprecedented heat is causing transport disruption, with advice to only travel if it's absolutely necessary, as we reach the hottest day so far this year, with temperatures still set to rise even further. It's not just the daytime heat, it's how uncomfortably warm it's going to be overnight, where temperatures don't drop below 20 degrees Celsius. Day, nighttime heat combined contributes to heat stress. The French authorities are warning of a heat apocalypse as thousands are forced to flee wildfires. Does climate change now mean regular, severe heat waves? Future warming is determined by future emissions. If we stop dumping carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, the world will stop warming. In other news, tomorrow night's leadership debate is cancelled after Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss both indicate they do not want to take part after last night's encounter when the five rivals attacked each other's records and policies. Ukraine's president suspends his security chief and top prosecutor over accusations that members of their departments were collaborating with Russia. Hello, good afternoon and welcome to BBC News. The UK's first ever red warning for extreme heat has come into effect, meaning there is a danger to life and the threat of major travel disruption. Well, that red alert covers much of England from London and the South East up to York and Manchester. It's already the hottest day of the year so far and parts of England could be hotter than the Western Sahara and the Caribbean. Tomorrow, temperatures could exceed 40 degrees in southern England, which would be a new record in Britain. An amber alert is also in place across England, Wales and parts of Scotland. Network Rail say people should travel only if it is absolutely necessary. And some schools plan to close early or didn't open at all. Our correspondent Celestina Olulode has this report. Not your usual morning.